Hello everyone, so for today's video I am filming my favourite video to film every year and I'm going to be filming my back to school haul for 2018. Last year's video, it's probably my most viewed video on my channel, it's had nearly 140,000 views which is absolutely insane. So this year I wanted to make a really really good video for you guys again. This year I am going to college, I'm going to be doing my A levels so personally I found that I didn't need to pick up as much, I also have a lot of stationery already if you know me, so I didn't really pick up as much as I probably did last year. Also, by going down to three subjects, I didn't need to buy like 10 folders and stuff like that. But behind me, as you can see, I have a massive WH Smiths bag and I have so much to show you. So without further ado, I'm going to get into this year's back to school. Also, please do excuse the fact that I have a slight bit of a cold. It's kind of coming to the end now, but I was just so excited that I wanted to film this video. So the first two things I have for back to school were very kindly sent to me from Rapesco. So I have a automatic USB pencil sharpener. And this is just like a pencil sharpener you plug in, you put the pencil in and it sharpens it for you, it's so cool. Um, I've never really thought of owning one of these and I'm really happy they sent this because it is so much easier than trying to sharpen a pencil over a bin. And then they also sent me an automatic tape dispenser which is really helpful because it cuts the tape for you, it's really easy to get out and this will just be perfect for sticking things down. So thank you so much to Rapesco for sending these two things, they're going to be very useful for around home. Now we're going to dive into the big bag. Um, I only bought three things WH Smiths but they gave me a big bag and I look like a right idiot walking around town with it but yeah so I'm going to start off with all the stuff I picked up from Amazon as Amazon is actually a really good place to go for stationery um, just the basics because it is so much cheaper than other places out there. The first three things I picked up from Amazon are for English as I am doing English literature, media studies and sociology um, for A level so I did need to pick up um, a few things for English rather than the other two subjects so the first two things I had to pick up were the book so this is a Streetcar Named Desire and the Duchess of Malfi. We just had to purchase both of these um, ready for September. I believe we're studying Streetcar first as that's the one all our homework's been set around but I guess they just want you to buy the other one as well. I will link everything down below as I can't remember off the top of my head how much these were each um, but I just found them cheapest on Amazon which is why I picked them up from there. And then I also picked up this A5 index book as we have to have like a glossary book um, to put all the key terminology in and I was going to get A6 originally but then I saw that A5 had more pages so I just picked this up. It's from a brand called Concept, I will just take the sticker off afterwards and it's not the nicest looking book but I thought it's good enough and then inside this page is obviously like in the dress book and then inside each page, I don't know if you can see this as well, you've got all the letters from A to Z and then it's got about like six or seven double sided pages for each letter which is perfect because I didn't want to run out of pages um, so that's why I went for the A5, it has so many and this way you can just kind of flick between letters, so this is the whole of A um, so yeah you can flick between your letters, write down your glossary terms and I think this was about £5, it was a bit more expensive than I thought it was going to be but you know what, it's fine, it's a good book, um, it's really nice, hardback as well and I'll just have to take this to every English lesson. The final three things I picked up from Amazon were some pucker pads and these are just the pucker um, jotter pads, they're 200 pages, they just look like this. What I really liked about these were they were already pre-hole punch and that's kind of what I wanted because obviously going into sick form, college, whatever, they don't provide you with books at most places so you do have to take paper and I was going to take refill pads but I kind of just preferred the idea of having a notepad um, and then at the end of the day I can just rip the pages out and put them in my folder. So I actually got a three pack and this was £8 for all three which is such a good price as one of these in WH Smith was £5 on its own and I got three for £8 so I will promise you I will link them down below. You can choose how many you want if you want to get two, one, four, six, whatever you want. I thought I'd just get three and obviously I'm not going to take all three in because it is so heavy. So what I'll do is I'll just take one per day and then at the end of the day I can just rip out the pages and put them in for the correct subjects. Um, but yeah, I just really like these notepads and they seem to be really good quality. And yeah, that's all I can really say. 200 pages should me last me a while, I hope. But yeah, 
that was the last things I got from Amazon. I then went to Wilco because you can't do a back to school haul without featuring Wilco. So the first three things I got were some dividers. These were a pound each, so I just got three, one for each folder. And these ones I found were a little bit better than the other ones from Wilco, which are about 75p or something. Um, because these are a little bit thicker, they're a bit more like card rather than paper. And you just get 12 as well down the side. Obviously I haven't decided how many I will need in each folder, but just for now I thought I'd pick these up. Um, for a pound each you can't go wrong, and I did use some of these last year and they didn't rip as well, which is great, they're a little bit thicker, and I also like that there is a index if I really want to use it, so I just picked these up to go in my folders and you can't go wrong with some dividers. Then also picked up two packs of record cards, again these were one pound each, um, flash cards, is what I use these for. They are just white and you get 100 in each pack. And yeah, I do prefer the white ones to the coloured ones. I used a bit of a mixture last year and I just decided I do prefer having white flashcards. And I will, I know I will go through these because all three of my subjects I will need to use flashcards for. Sociology, I've already been set homework, which needs flashcards, English for quotes, and media last year I made over 80 flashcards for terminology. So I just picked up 200 to get me started, but of course I will have to repurchase. These won't last me for the whole year. Um, but I thought, you know, two packs should be fine for now, and for a pound each they're fine, a lot cheaper than anywhere else. And then the final thing I picked up in Wilco was £1.75 and these are just a pack of Stabilo highlighters, Stabilo, however you want to say it. I love this brand's highlighters. I have the pastel ones, I have the neon ones, I've had the thin ones. Uh, but these are kind of just like the ones that look like paint tubes because I have highlighters obviously um, I got like a big pack but I thought I wanted to take some separate ones for college so if they went missing or you know anything like that it's okay and these are just really cool you get a pink a orange a yellow and a green they are really good this is my favorite brand of highlighters the pastel ones are brilliant and so are the other set and then these are obviously the same just in a different shape and everything in Wilco is on offer right now so these were like half price which is brilliant if you know me I usually do go to Tesco for my back to school stuff because it is so affordable but this year I couldn't find um, the pens I wanted in Tesco so I just went to Asda these were a pound per pack and these are the big round stick they seem to be one of the only places Asda and Poundland to sell these and they are my favorite pens they last such a long time they do look quite cheap so maybe that's why they're not sold everywhere but I just found that I really liked these pens I think throughout all my exams I went through maybe three or four as they last so well they're also really comfortable to write with I have found in the past other pens have given me like blisters on my fingers and also I didn't want something that was too thick to go through the pages so these are like the perfect pens you get eight per pack so I just picked up two I deal I do still have a load from last year, but I just thought if I start fresh, then I know they're all going to work and not run out on me on the first day. Um, but for a pamper pack, you can't go wrong. And then the final thing I picked up from WH Smiths were my folders. These are on offer right now, three for £10 or £9.99. And for the ring binders, it's three for £7.99 of the roll bound. Um, but I wanted roll bound folders this year because apparently they last a lot better and I needed three lever arch files. I was going to, I had this whole idea in my head, I was like, I'm going to get pastel folders and then I went in I just saw the vibrant ones and I thought you know what these look so much cooler and I'm not too bothered about what my folders look like so I just got three of the roll bound ones so the first one is called teal honestly I would call this more like turquoise it's a very vibrant blue but I'm going to use this for English as last year I had a blue folder for English so I kind of just have that association in my head and it's just got a little elastic bit and then you open it up and then here is your lever arch it's still got the paper and stuff on it and that is what it looks like and apparently roll bands meant to be better I don't know we'll find out but these um retail for 4 99 each or like I said it's through for 9 99 so I got the teal I then got a bright purple one this is obviously very vibrant and this is gonna be for media as last year I had a purple one for media so I've kind of just got these colors associated in my head um, exactly the same kind of thing and then for sociology I got a bright pink one um, there wasn't masses to choose one but I quite like the color of this one and yeah this is kind of just what I got for my folders I'm not gonna label them I'll just remember but I really liked the design you know just plain and simple and then when you open them up it's just black inside I just thought really basic really nice and it's only to store my work in at home but that is everything I purchased myself I was also very kindly sent 
a load of stationery from Stationery Closet, which is a brand I've worked with in the past. I will link down below last year's video for you, but I thought I'd just do a really quick rundown if you are looking for some stationery that's probably a little bit more cute. The first thing they sent me was a weekly planner. This is brilliant. This has just got a map. It says places to go, people to see, and it's just got a thing for each day of the week, and then it also says notes, and I just think this is going to be perfect um, to put down my homework or anything like that. They then sent me a pack of pastel highlights. These are very pastel and then also some sticky notes. So here I have a panda and also a sheet and these are just perfect for making notes of things like to-do lists and stuff on there. They also sent me some pins to go into the wall as I'm looking to buy like another wall planner this year but I just haven't found one that I like yet. They also sent me this really cute um, cat pencil, pencil case which says meow on it and I just think this is perfect for storing pens in or anything like that. They also sent me correction tape and the one I had last year lasted me nearly the whole year and it's honestly the best thing ever. It's kind of like a Tipex but this you just roll um, instead of using the little brush and this is just in the shape of a tiger. They also sent me two pens. This one just says hello with like a geometric shape and then this one is like a little zebra sleeping. Um, these are both just normal like writing pens and then the final thing I was sent are two little notepads these are so cute the first one's just got a load of watermelons on and then the second one says be wild and free and these are just both plain paper notepads also if you do want to get 10% off at stationery closet use the code florosophia 2018 and you can get 10% off your whole purchase which is obviously a big saving and you can get some amazing stationery that's super affordable anyway. That is everything I have picked up for back to school this year, 2018. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you please leave it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. I have some study with me's coming up during the year. Um, I will be doing one very soon at the kind of end of the month. I've got a what's my school bag coming once I've purchased my school bag. And I will have loads and loads of back to school videos, year 11 advice, all things like that. So if you have any videos you are desperate to see for the back to school season, then leave them down below in the comment section. And I'm going to try and do as many as possible. If you've got any other questions that you want to ask me, like always, leave them down below. And if you haven't already seen last week's video where I did my GCC experience, that will be linked for you in the description box in case you want to check that out. But I will see you all in my next video. Bye!